Hi, Peterson staff. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a little bit about ngrade.com. It's an online grading system, just like uh, making the grade that you'd be using at school. So for this is, it's nice you have access to it anywhere that you have internet, home or your phone even or iPad. Um, so once you get to ngrade.com, you have a couple of options. First, obviously, if you haven't signed up, then you're going to have to sign up for the free grade book. Grade book. Once you have signed up, then you'll simply log in. So uh, if you haven't signed up, you're going to sign up as a teacher. Once you've done that, you're going to enter in some basic information about yourself, agree to the terms and conditions, and then create your account. Once you've done that, you'll be able to log in. So I'm going to simply log in as myself. I've already had, I already have classes set up for pretty much every subject area, but um, we're going in, going to create a new class. So for the sake of this video, we're going to do test class one. You're going to select this school year. Uh, then next is going to be the grading period. Uh, this is a little confusing because it goes through 15. At first I thought maybe it was, you know, a, a period like middle school or, you know, fourth grade English or fifth grade. Uh, Spanish, whatever, but this is actually the grading period or the quarter that you're in. So this is going to be grading period one for first quarter. Um, you can go ahead and select your grade level. It really doesn't make a difference whether you do that and the subject, but for, for now we'll do fourth grade in math and click next. The next thing it's going to ask you to do is put in a grading scale. Our grading scale is a little bit different than the typical, uh, you know, going up by 10 percent. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and change the grading scale. What's nice is you'll really just have to do this for the first class that you create, and then every class after that you're going to be able to copy, uh, and it'll put the grading scale in for you. So we'll go ahead and, for the sake of time, skip this, but you'll put in your custom grading scale. You can also choose, I know some people use assignment categories, some people don't. If you use assignment categories, you can put those categories in here, and you can also choose to weight those different categories if you'd like to. Once you've decided to uh, set up the class, however it meets your needs, then you'll just go on to click next. So I'm going to choose not to, or I'm going to choose to use categories, uh, and I'm going to weight them. We'll do tests will be, we'll say 70% quizzes we'll say will be 20 percent and we'll just say in class work will be 10 percent of the students grades you can choose based on the categories if you'd like to uh, drop the lowest score I know um, that's an option but that's that's up to you so once you're finished you'll select next it'll take you to where you can enter your students lists you don't have to assign any numbers to them. You'll just do first name and last name, and it'll automatically assign numbers once you've submitted your list. So um, let's just enter a few students in here. So we have George Washington, John Adams, not Mickey Mickey, Mickey Mouse. I did it again. We'll do um, Patrick Kane. Ooh, controversial. We'll do, um, that'll be good. So uh, let's go ahead and click next. We have our four students in our class. Dreamy, four students. Uh, from there, you'll have your class list, and that's where you're going to be able to start putting in your new assignments. Before you start putting in assignments, I suggest going up to the options, going to the grade settings. It'll take you back here. Just double check you have everything that you the way that you like it. Um, and then down at the bottom, there's more options where you can put the students, you know, if you want them by last name, if you want them by ID number, if you do actually put in ID numbers. Um, you can sort assignments from the newest first or the oldest first. Just depends what order that you'd like them to be in. Um, I like to go uh, oldest first, that way that they're all in chronological order from the date that I've given them. And then you can decide how you're going to round your grades. You could decide to round up to the nearest whole number, half number to the nearest tenth. You can round down if you'd like. Uh, for today, I'm just going to select to the nearest tenth, and then I'm going to click Save Settings. This way, all of my settings are set up, and it's going to be applied to every assignment that I put in. So 
let's put in new tests or new assignment. So I'm just going to do test one. It's going to be worth 100 points. Remember, I'm, I chose to do categories. If you didn't do categories, it's just going to automatically come up with assignments. But since I did categories, I'm going to do test. I'm going to have George Washington got 100. John Adams got a 95. Mickey Mouse, he didn't do so well. He got a 45. And Patrick Kane got a 78%. So we're going to go ahead and submit that. And it'll show you the grades there. Let me put in a new assignment so I can show you another way of submitting it. So let's say the next assignment was um, a quiz. So we'll also make this out of 100 points. It's a different category. So I'll select quiz. If I don't want to enter my grades here, I can submit and it'll come up blank, but I could put them in on this screen if I'd like to. So George Washington on the quiz got a 95. John Adams got a 95. Mickey Mouse did a little better with a 90, and Patrick Kane got another 78. So based on how you set up your class, I set up weighted grades, so it, it automatically weighted my test category with my quiz category um, and enter the grades there. So if I go back, I can go back to my classes. When you see on this screen, it's got all of my classes listed now. So what it does for you is it, has, it shows the number of students that you have entered in this class. Here's my test class with my four students, and it shows my overall grade right now is an 82%. So that's uh, once you've set up one class, you can continue to enter as many assignments as you need. And it's, as you see, you're put, they're putting it in order from the first assignment that you put in all the way until your last assignment. So you can choose to do you know, newest would be entered here. That's just your preference. So let's go back to our classes because I want to create another class so I can show you exactly how you can carry everything over. So I'm sorry, let's not go to create a class. Let's go back to our classes. I'm going to go back to my test class. I have everything set up the way that I want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put my next class name in. So let's say this is going to be class test class two. Again, it's first quarter, so I'm going to keep this in. Grade level's the same. Subject area, this time it's going to be government and politics. Again, you don't really have to enter those in, but you can. I want my student roster to be the same. I do not want it to copy the assignments and lessons and I don't enter any standard, so I don't need that checked either. So I'm going to go ahead and submit this, and it should carry over all of my options from before. So let me go back to my grade settings. As you see, I changed my A to a 91, and it's now, again, a 91. So it took my grade scale and copied it over, it also took my categories and copied it over. Let's say you have different categories. You can just go ahead and enter those and change the, the weights now. If you choose not to use categories for this class, you could always turn it off simply by checking no. But you still do have that drop lowest score um, available if you want to. So, again, you would go down here. You could choose how you want things entered, how you want things rounded, and then you'll save your settings. Once you have that, then you're back to just entering new assignments and such. So let me go show you one more thing. I'm going to go back to my original, my test class one. There's a few different ways that you can print. You can decide to print a grade book where it's going to show all of the kids and all of the assignments listed. You can choose to print student reports. And this is a nice feature, I know, especially when it gets to progress report time, where you can print these. So it'll pull up all of your students and their current scores and assignments. You can right click on this, you can choose to print it, and what's nice is it's going to print an individual page for each student, so you're not going to have to cut them out or copy and paste anything. So um, that's, that's all I had in mind to show you tonight. I'm not sure why it's not loading, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, send me an email. I can stop by and help you out, or I can always uh, send another video. So have a good night.